What's good, y'all boys, man? I'm back with another reaction. This time we got a Michael Jordan documentary. A. Hey, this is a long one, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of my subscribers, a lot of my fans keep telling me, hey, we need a documentary, we need a documentary. So I'm like, I right, bet, you feel me? So I went and found one of the best Michael Jordan documentaries there is. And it's 49 minutes. So this is about to be an hour-long video. So I need y'all, you know what I'm saying, some show some love. Hit that like and sub button. Because when y'all hit that like and sub button, you know, it makes people like me want to do more videos like this for y'all. And then we can both have a good time, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting my money. You getting your content. It's like a team effort, you feel me? But no, let's get straight into the video. Hey, like I said, this one for y'all. It's a long one, but let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it. Michael Jordan, four million dollar a year superstar, leaping, twirling, flying through the air like a man unleashed from gravity. Look at that! Holy cow! I mean, the first time I ever saw Michael Jordan, it was our camp, and I said, I think I just saw the best six foot four inch high school player I've ever seen. There is just no limit to what Michael can do. Michael Jordan in high school, no less the third, got cut from the varsity team. You think where he came from as a sophomore in high school, not to make his varsity team three years, and he's not... <laughs> nah, now that I think about it, dude, that is low-key crazy. Like, bro, Michael Jordan getting cut from his varsity team in high school, bro, as a sophomore. How fucking good was that team? Like, who the fuck did they have? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to figure out. Who did they have? Like, that team must have... They, them niggas must have been so nice. Like, where are them players at now? That's what I want to know. Where did they go to school? What, what what they look like in the NBA? You feel me? Like, real talk. That's what I want to know. Player of the year. Your tongue hanging out. Here comes Michael. Tongue hanging. But he has that tongue out so much. I've always been worried about somebody coming up with an elbow and just knocking it right off. Let me tell you a little bit about this guy. He worked so hard... One year he was running a 4 6 40. From one year to the next, he, he knocked that down from a 4 6 40 to a 4 3 40. Dang! From Laney High School, Wilmington, North Carolina, a superstar. Let's do it, let's do it! Time remaining 32 seconds to win the championship. Time 18. The Legendary. If I were going to pick uh, the best athletes I've ever seen play basketball, I think he's the best athlete I've ever seen play basketball, bar none. There you saw Michael Jordan's tremendous skill. Wait, before before we get to this this part, bro, I'm I'm a hundred percent sure like Michael Jordan, like he's glad he went to college for at least a year, bro, because like there's so many like <clears throat> you know what I'm saying like. Yeah, LeBron and them, Kobe and them, you know what I'm saying? They didn't go to college, and they got straight to the money, you feel me? But it's so much they missed out on. Like, they never got that college experience. And, like, Jordan only went one, wait, one or two? I don't know. I think he might have went two years. Or did he go, or one? I don't know. But at least he got that college experience, and I bet he's glad he did, bro. It's so much in college that, you know, you get to learn, people you get to meet, like, things you get to do. Just, like, the overall experience is low-key crazy. So I feel like everybody should, you know what I'm saying, get the chance to get the feel for college at least one time. Cause like you don't never get to you don't never get to have that, you know what I'm saying, young nigga mentality or or being a young a young gentleman going to college for the first time, you don't never get that. Cause like, yeah, you go back to school, but nigga, you gonna be thirty five. You wanna be thirty five going to biology class, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, bro, that's not him. So like he got to be that nigga on campus playing basketball. So I bet I bet he's glad he did that, bro. I ain't gonna lie. He went past Magic Johnson. You have the ability to be able to create shots 
and hang in the air. There's just nobody like him. Damn, man, only Doc has <laughs> ever did that. It's no secret or surprise of how great he was. In my opinion, Michael Jordan has the opportunity to become one of the all-time great basketball players. Did not lose a game, either against the NBA That boy first step is crazy. Series. You're getting some real competition in this ball Flying through the air with your tongue out in front of the baddest motherfucking basketball players in the world. Michael Jordan! Hey! What a play! Uh, made a nice play. Well, was... Kicking shit on a level they've never seen before. The U.S. has its ninth gold medal. As captain of the U.S. Olympic basketball team last summer, he brought in the gold. Jordan says he owes everything to his parents. He gave his gold medal to his mother. Welcome w, to the 1984 NBA college draft. During the 1984 NBA draft, the Blazers passed up on Michael Jordan to take center Sam Bowie second overall. Selects Sam Bowie, University of Kentucky. <laughs> the Chicago Bulls. Was he nice? Pick Michael Jordan. Was Sam Bowie nice? Let me know in the comments, was he nice? Because ain't no way. University of North Carolina. We started practicing our first day in preseason. And I got a call after practice from an assistant coach and said, you didn't mess this draft up. And now the noise back here yeah. against the really increase. Here is the man. They call him Mr. Jordan in Chicago. The standing ovation. The first time he stepped on a professional floor, all you had to do was look to see. There was an artist at work. feels that he can do whatever he wants and you're in, in some sort of a different zone when you're out there. I'm not sure people really know how good this guy is. And they usually concentrate on the fact that what a beautiful dunker he is. Bro, let me tell y'all, bro. When you're already nice, like when you're nice at hoops, bro. When you're nice at hoops, bro. And like you can already get a bucket, you know what I'm saying, with barely trying. Then you add the confidence on top of that. And then the green light on top of that? My nigga, you the best, bro. I'm telling you, it don't matter. Bro, you don't even got to be Michael Jordan, my nigga. Like, you can be a you can be a hooper, like just a basic hooper that goes to the open runs, my nigga. Say you the best player on your team. You know you can get a bucket because you the best player on your team. <laughs> you got the green light because you the only good player on your team. Hey, yo, confidence is through the roof because you ain't missed. My nigga, you the best player in the world. So, like, just being Michael Jordan instead of just, like, the best player. Bro, okay, y'all got to really lift. Y'all got to hear me out, bro. So, I'm trying to, like, compare, like, I'm trying to put you in, like, perspective that you can see. So, like, picture Michael Jordan. He gets on the court. He knows he can get a bucket, right? He done hit two or three jumpers, cross you up, and dunked on you, all right? He already got the green light. Like, this nigga done turned into something you can't... Like, I can't even say he turned into another player because he the best player ever at that point. But shit, like... That's why I was finna say, like... You had some open runs. You the best player on your team. You got the green light because you the best player and nobody else can score but you. And you already hit some shots. You got the confidence. You done turned into Michael Jordan. So what the fuck does Michael Jordan turn into? That's what I'm trying to... I got lost near my. If he didn't dunk a basketball, just he would be as great as anyone that ever played this game. No, that hang time, that hang time is crazy. I ain't gonna lie. That hang time is crazy. I'm surprised at how, how fast I'm picking up the game. Brown will put it in. Here's Williams. Let's see if they go for three or two here. Thomas, a three point attempt. That's it. An assassin personified that had that killer instinct. A killer instinct that he came into the league with. He has the ability to take control of a game. To make That's crazy shot. how he got like the, the best the shoes of all time. Down to 12 seconds. You see the clock now has been inserted in your screen. Jordan. Jordan driving. He'll go for it. The magic of this guy, Michael Jordan, the rookie. I'm out of adjectives already. I'm going to tell my kids about this. And the sheer will to win. The unflappable, unshakable confidence. He got it! He got it! He got it! Here comes Indiana. That motherfucker took it, bro. He didn't get it off in time. So that motherfucker see it. <laughs> like, uh, uh, damn. 
Tolly bow, didn't it? Here comes Indiana. Bird. He got it. He got it. He got it. Here comes. Damn, where'd go? The sheer Come on, will see. to win. The unflappable, unshakable confidence. <laughs> Bro, if I lose on some shit like that, I'll be mad as shit. Here comes Indiana. Bird Fleming. Two seconds. One second. He didn't get it off in time. The Bulls have won the ball game. Nigga had five seconds to get off the shot and couldn't get it off in time. Michael Jordan. You talk about pressure. Since he arrived, the stadium, which used to be two thirds empty, has been sold out every game. You can just substitute the That's crazy. Place right there. It could be Jordan Laws, Lakers, Jordan Laws, Celtics, and everything else. Everywhere you go, That's you're, crazy. you're getting this kind of thing. Last night, your first appearance at the Garden. Michael Jordan puts on his show. And he has shot to start him already. Although still in his first month as a professional. Nobody like him. Point blank. I never seen nobody play like he plays. Damn. Tried to get it away, but broke it Damn. Now that dunk is crazy. I ain't gonna lie. That dunk is crazy. Oh, no time for Mr. Jordan. He was the first to wear the number 23. And the uh, young Madonna in the crowd. You know, he had Madonna? There was a, a G. He had Madonna sliding to the games? That is crazy. James Dean. That is a crazy. Lone Ranger quality to Michael Jordan. Can he fly or what? Hey! Oh my gosh. Most players really don't have to worry about doing it up on the board. You're trying to go one on one. He lost the ball. There's still all the way. Laid out for Jordan. Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Hold on, bro. Because, like, the way he be dunking on people is actually crazy. But, like, bro, like, for real. Greatest basketball player that I've seen. Look how he dunked that up. Mm. He made me want to be an NBA basketball player. Them white boys happy as fuck. Thanks, my son. The rookie from Oh, yeah. Woo. The rookie is playing like an all pro. We all know that Michael Jordan was the greatest basketball player ever. Nobody that I've seen had the type of mental toughness that Michael Jordan had. Jumper under heavy pressure. 35 seconds left. Jeez. And on the court. It was perfection. The way he wore his uniform, the socks low, the sneakers sent people into a frenzy. It was the f he was the first to Three. do so many things. And Nike's coming out with a clothing line called Air Jordan. Oh yes, nah, that's own tough. Shoe. That's they tough. Call it Air Jordan. Bro, if y'all ever get bored, y'all need to y'all need to take y'all time. You know what I'm saying? Go watch that movie Air. It's like about like how like they like. Got Michael Jordan to sign with Nike and all that and how they created the shoe. That movie actually dope. Like, it's a crazy story behind that because, like, now Jordan probably the most, like, Michael Jordan shoes, like, retros, you know what I'm saying? All that, bro, they're, like, the most legendary shoe of all time. Like, everybody and their mama and their granny and their uncle and their cousin got a pair. Like, my white grandma got a pair of retro Jordans in her closet, like, for real real deal like she got some retro sixes in her closet right now like real deal like she got these look i ain't even have to i ain't even have to move a lick and i found some jordans like come on bro i got the retro sixes right here as we speak like bro i got some jordan gear on my team like on my on my you know what i'm saying my team clothing brand i got some jordan like this is crazy Hot as a cabbage patch doll right now. The endorsements are fast and furious. Gordon's getting rich. His Chicago salary is reportedly more than half a million dollars a year. Coke and McDonald's for eight hundred thousand dollars. North Carolina to the height of superstar. He doesn't wear one white glove. He wears. I will tell you one thing though. I don't wear Jordan socks, bro. Last time I wore Jordan socks was in the sixth grade. I'm telling you, I want to go hooping some Jordan socks. I couldn't score, bro. It's something about Jordan socks, bro. I just can't do it. It's like it just throw me off. He's looking sneakers and he soars through the air. He has some crazy commercials, I ain't gonna lie. NBA says 
says Jordan is a key reason overall league attendance is up more than 7%. What more could Michael Jordan ask for? In less than a year, he's been named Collegiate Player of the Year. He's won an Olympic gold medal. Turn into Captain Marvel again. Well, he's got him. <laughs> the NBA on fire. And he's and Captain Marvel. Marvel. In Sunday's All-Star game. He participated in the jump sh in, in the dunk, dunk contest. Yeah, three he, times. He was the first. Right, here's Michael Jordan of the Chicago Bulls. One of the hot candidates for Rookie of the Year honors as he slams it all. He wants to indicate where he's going to take off on this dunk. Last effort of the semi-final round. Here's Michael Jordan of the Chicago Bulls. Here's the thing. Time to ride out. Bro, I was at the gym, bro, and I was like, bro, how the fuck do these niggas be jumping from the free throw line, bro? So I'm like, bro, it can't be that far. I ain't gonna lie. It can't be that far. And you know me, I can dunk. I can 360. I can between the legs. I can do a lot of things. I can do a lot of things that you don't think I can do. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty athletic. I got like a 44-inch vertical. Bro, I tried to jump from the free throw line. That shit ain't work. I think your arms got to be long. I ain't gonna lie. Now you got to have some like some real deal like arms that's like at least like your wingspan got to at least be eight and a half, nine feet. You know what I'm saying? Like real talk because like, bro, I couldn't even make. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm not a one foot jumper or something. I don't know. But that is farther than what y'all think it is. Like you real deal got to fly. You can fly, can't you? I said to so many people that we're fortunate in our lifetime to have seen a Michael Jordan. Here's Jordan down the middle, all the way! Rather than be born 30 years from now and only hear about the legacy. Look at this crowd! Look at this crowd up on their feet! He went right down the middle on Artis Gilmore, slammed it over the top of the bench. Timeout taken by the fans. People think that Jordan gets mythologized out of proportion. In fact, if anything, he becomes underrated over time. Jordan driving! Michael Jordan is just this ultra bad mother... It's not lonely at all. Chicago has virtually doubled its attendance. There's a whole generation of kids now is going to swear by LeBron James. Because if you're watching LeBron James, it's hard to imagine that anyone was ever better than that. But kids, I'm here to tell you there was someone better than that. Jordan just rocked the cradle for his 10th point, and the Bucks are going to call time. Here's a kaboom. <laughs> Highlighting NBA news, the Chicago Bulls in an unfamiliar spot. They're still on top. Three games into the season, they won again tonight. What's interesting about last night was the fact that star Michael Jordan was injured early in the game. Out of a total of 64 games, Michael defied the recommendations of his team doctors and management, came back and led his team to the playoffs. Air Jordan is no longer time Jordan. The Chicago Bulls are in the playoffs and there are no restrictions on Michael's playing time. The only question that remains is, is Michael Jordan really back? When you think about Michael, you know, scoring 60 in Boston Garden in the playoff game. To me, he was the first athlete who had great fundamentals. Most super athletes depend on the fact that they could just jump over you or run by you. But he took it technically. This is game two of our best of five. First round, Chicago had a 12-point lead in the first half of the game against the Celtics. That's nasty. Hits the jumper, That's the nasty. Y'all ain't gonna lie. Y'all ain't telling me that. Y'all niggas ain't tell me Larry Bird's dad coached the Larry Bird. Hits the jumper, but I'm Bird. Bird Senior? Well, defensively against Jordan there. Michael Jordan has eight points and is the game high score. Going baseline. Michael Jordan, 21 points. I mean, against the Celtics, and that at, at that time, who had one of the best teams ever. Larry's nasty, I ain't gonna lie. Now we'll see how Chicago responds to that knockdown punch. Jordan trying to use his quickness and it works. Okay. We all know we know we know we know Larry Bird is nasty. And we know Michael Jordan is the greatest player of all time. But who do you got one-on-one? -on -one? Let me know.
Who do you got one on one? I ain't gonna lie. No disrespect. But I low key got Larry Bird. Larry might be nasty one on one, like nasty. But I don't know though, Michael Jordan nasty too one on. Yeah, this is a debate for the comments. Let me know who y'all got, because I know a lot of y'all going to lean towards Michael Jordan. Because this is a Michael Jordan documentary. But for y'all really, y'all know them hoopers out there that know that knowledge and know matchups and stuff like that. Bird's a bad boy. Bird is a bad boy, you feel me? So, like, let me know what y'all think. Let me know in the comments. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe, bro. I'm doing this video for y'all. I mess with y'all heavy, you feel me? Show love. Michael Jordan with 44 now in the ball game. 44 Jordan. is crazy though. Cuts the Celtic lead. And he dropped 44 Larry on Bird now. Said God in in a in a bat in, in shorts waxed us when Michael Jordan dropped 63. And a foul. Yeah. A foul against Kevin McHale has been called by Middleton. Oh shit. With no time showing on the clock. Oh, that's the Bulls coach. I'm tripping. Nah, 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 nah. Nah. You're not finna pass me the ball. I'm not even ready, bro. Nah. I would've passed it right back to the ref. Like, I'm standing sideways. But it don't matter, though. It's Michael Jordan. calling him God. It moved Larry Bird to say, that's not Michael Jordan. That's God disguised as Michael Jordan. Oh, that's crazy. I know. That's crazy. With an all-time record, 63 points in a single playoff game. Jordan was always good enough. Yeah. He scored 63 points in a he playoff did. game. Yes, he did. And he, just, and he had, I think he played with us for. I love it. You know, uh, you know, everyone's picking us to do somewhat bad. And, uh, you know, it takes all pressure off this team. Watch Gino get ready to hit it all the way down the court. And with Michael going, maybe? Yep. <laughs> there it is. Michael Jordan on the break. He can just spike that motherfucker. 37 for Jordan. It's a and when they started trying to crown him early on, he didn't believe in that. He felt I didn't belong. And I felt like I had to prove myself. Just like when I was at North Carolina, I had to prove Jordan. myself. With the drive. League's leading scorer, Michael Jordan, averaging 37 points a game. Boom, perfect timing. Hey. He's got the best defensive player in the league. He's the best offensive and need player, him. and he's the best competitor. <laughs> and need him in the face. Me, personally, I'm not going out like that, bro. I ain't going to lie. I ain't really need to stop the video right there, but I'm not letting another nigga slam dunk the ball, swing, and then knee me in my face, bro. We got to scrap. We got to bump on site. I ain't going to lie. It's all right. You're not going to do me like that. No way. Jordan, the ball loose. No way, Jose. Theus on a dribble off to the right, takes it in. in. No way, Jose. That's great defense. Nine That's great defense. All defensive NBA. Here's Michael Jordan on the drive. In on Joe Klein. All right. And that's a crazy lay. Full hug. Full on hug. Tackle. Full on tackle. And still made it. Full on tackle. My nigga just did a Ray Lewis tackle on him. Nah, that's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I told you, bro. His wingspan is like eight and eight and a half, nine feet long. Slam dunk championship. Michael Jordan, Dominique Wilkins. Just you take this for granted now, but just the dunking. And just him being in the slam dunk contest, wearing his shoes. Everybody wanted those shoes. Everybody wanted to see him dunk. That's like all you cared about. In the threes? Michael in the dunk contest was like Hagler Hearns, Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier. From high above the rim. Well, now Jordan does have his first taste of pressure in the slam dunk competition. Michael said, oh, I got one bet. I'm going to kick my legs out. It's a heavyweight fight. This is what everybody was building up for.
I ain't gonna lie. The dunk contest from 2024 was so bad compared. I mean, was so bad. But the like all the dunks be recycled. Like if you put the 2024 dunk contest right here, like 1996 or 1990, whatever, or 1988. I don't know what year this is. But if you put it back then, like 2024 dunk contest in this year, bro, they would have been astonished. They would have thought niggas was motherfucking monsters for real. I think it's just because like, like. People just got, like, start jumping higher. They got more creative. But these dunks still tough, though. I just like how everybody's still, like, involved. They cheering. Like, it's, it's dope. Be hard not to give 50 on that one, Steve. That was impressive. They both got 50s on their first. Like, that right there, that would probably be, like, a, 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 a 7. He did get high on thing. Yeah, them, like, them, like, 7s, bro. Incredible! Could we call it a make good? I mean, that's a two-hand windmill with authority. Now for Michael Jordan. Here's the story. Wilkins finishes with 145. Michael Jordan needs a 48 to tie, a 49 to win. And Michael is backing all the way to the middle of the back. Michael, he understands the moment. He walked down. He took his time. 48 ties. 49 wins! That nigga popped that one. Back a little bit. Well, the pump let you know what they think of it. That nigga just did a pump free throw line dunk. He just pumped his. Nigga just. Nigga just. All right, that look a look. They gave him a 50. They gave Jordan a 50. He defends his championship. That was tough. I ain't gonna lie. That was tough. My lifetime. A moment or history. I'm gonna get what we call the shot. We have had three-point drama here in the final minutes of the game. An irregular timeout. Pippen brings it across, defended by Harper. 11 seconds to go. In the middle of the floor. Jordan has it. Puts up a jumper and hits. Six seconds to go. This tells it all. Cleveland has the ball. The greatest clutch performer in playoffs history has to be Michael Jordan. Gets the ball back. Drives to the hoop. Lays it in with three seconds to go. The, the, what I've always said about Michael is he never feared the consequences of, of missing. Here's our story here at Richfield Coliseum. One of these teams will advance to the Eastern Conference semifinals against the New York Knicks. And I'll, I'll tell you an interesting story about Bro, for all my old heads out there watching, how did y'all watch? Like, bro, did this not, like, hurt y'all eyes? Like, when I watch, like, old footage, bro, look, he hurts my eyes. Maybe I was just used to it. Or did it hurt y'all eyes, too? It was just, like, cool with y'all because, like, Y'all, yeah, that was all y'all got. Type, type. Because, bro, this should be hurting my eyes. Bro. I be having to squint and shit. About the greatness of Michael Jordan. Doug Collins began to say he wanted to pass the ball to Dave Corzine, and that's when Jordan slammed his fist on the clipboard and said, Give me the effing ball. As the Bulls break the huddle, Jordan whispers to his teammate Craig Hodges, I'm going to make it. The Bulls have three seconds to try a shot. Sellers has Jordan. Jordan. It's good at the buzzer. Michael Jordan has won it. Oh, what? Coach. coach has tripping. <laughs> As Jordan kept pumping his fist, Cavs coach Lenny Wilkins could hear Jordan yell, Go home. Go home to Cavs fans. Oh, uh, double clutch. Crazy. Okay. And the song was called by Anita Baby. That was uh, get the ball, Michael. Everybody get the out of the way. <laughs> Go to the basket. <laughs> just how famous he was. And Bird was famous. Magic was famous. Michael had a different level of just when he walked in, it was like a hurricane. Just every eye in the building was always on him. Some could like describe Muhammad Ali. You know. It was, it was like Ali. Michael Jordan. <laughs> A phenomenon. All these kids standing, taking pictures and like reaching out to touch him. It's like uh, I compare it to 
biblically about people reaching out trying to touch, touch Christ's garments. So when Fortune magazine did some number crunching to calculate how much money Jordan has generated in his career. Show me the money aspect of Michael Jordan in corporate. Show me the money. His cologne has reportedly raked in $155 million. Cologne? Michael Jordan was the one who made fans watch, and Michael Jordan was the one who made fans buy. $155 million from cologne? That is insane. Niggas out here, 100, nigga, 155 million. Bro, that means that at least like 100 million niggas out here smell like Michael Jordan. Matter of fact, I seen Michael Jordan cologne at Burlington, nigga. Like TJ Maxx. So we even got the cheap nigga smell. We got on sale ass nigga smell like Michael Jordan to this day. No one moves more jerseys than number 23. He's also the world's highest paid athlete. He makes more than $30 million a year just doing TV commercials like these. Hello. Pressy looks to bring it in. He comes he was born with killer instinct because you can't learn it, you, you can't create it, you can't teach it, you can't coach it. You're either built that way or you're not. Backward slide. Yeah! 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 Now that nigga was clutch. He's clutch. I ain't gonna cap. He's clutch. Look, they can. They finna try to they finna try to get with him at tonight. Look. <laughs> Michael Jordan. <laughs> Look at us. The fact that he could fly is really magical on television, and it brought people who were not basketball fans in just at the sheer majesty and grace of his movement. That is nasty, lady. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Oh, yes, yes, yes. We had dethroned the Celtics. We had dethroned the Lakers. And we thought that we deserved a little bit of respect as a champion. Who on God's name would stop Michael Jordan? First of all, the game was far more physical when Michael Jordan played. Dantley knocks him down, and Michael's up ready to go with Dantley. What the heck is going on? You saw him in the gym. He came back a little stronger. Shoulders were looking bigger. In their time? Right. There's no hand checking now. You touch him now. This nigga punch him in the head. Somebody's head off and throw it in the stands before you get a play for foul. They just don't want to see that in our basketball game. He never complained. Rick Mahorn and those guys, Kevin McHale and those guys, beat him to a pulp. And he still averaged 30. 360, tongue moving. That's crazy. That's tough. For Kirsten. With the indication that it is all the over. The decision was made. Like, this shit don't hurt your eyes. If you had it over again, would you shake hands with the Bulls? Absolutely. Troy Christian heading back to the locker room. Their season has concluded. While the Chicago Bulls advance to the NBA championship round. Compliments him, but not a perfect team. He carries this team. Rarely do players carry teams to wins, much less championships. You're not going to avoid the magic Michael thing. And we got out on him by 12 to 2. And I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really rattle his chain. So I went over there, tapped him on the shoulder, and said, hey, man, if you don't turn into Air Jordan, we're going to blow you out today. Jimmy, his eyes got big. Nah, this nigga be floating, bro. Usually that tongue come about right here and now it's way out. <laughs> He's looking at me. Stripped by Jordan. There's Jordan. Jordan scored. Jordan scored the uh, 46. That was the uh, the one loss in the series. Jordan again. Jeez. He has 20. Michael has a, a streak in him competitively that I've never seen in anyone before. I think Michael Jordan had the perfect body. It's long, it's lean, he can run, yeah, I he agree with jump. jump. Everything was perfect. The look away to Lovingston, Jordan. Michael Jordan in 1991 came down on us with the right hand, tongue out. He switched in midair to the left. Nah, yeah, that's crazy, I ain't gonna lie. 
he ain't even need to do that. That was just because. He was like, fuck it, I'm out of showing something they ain't never seen before. And all of us were stunned to see him hang in the air that night. Now the Chicago Bulls have won their first ever NBA championship. Michael, Michael the, the moral is you should not talk trash to Michael Jordan. Yeah. Portland and Chicago. It was almost inevitable. For the Bulls, there are great expectations of a different kind. This team has its championship. Now, it seeks its place in history. I like this a series that features two of the NBA's premier Clyde players, Drexler. Michael Jordan and Clyde Drexler. Two superstars, the Jordan-Drexler matchup. Michael never played with a player that would get double teamed. Hey, does anybody know why Michael Jordan wore number 23? Let me know in the comments. Hey, if y'all still watching, I appreciate y'all. When we get, If y'all watch all the way to the end, let me know that y'all watch the whole thing. Put W reaction. Don't forget to hit that sub button if you're new, you know what I'm saying? We on the way to 10K subs, let's get it. I want to get it after this video, so everybody that watches this, hit that sub button, you feel me? So you had to carry that offensive load for not just a season, an entire career, and then on the other end be first team all defensive play. There's no one going to ever be like that, these super teams. Nobody will ever have that burden put on them. Hey! That is actually tough. something was given to us by the notoriety, by the media, by the fans, that superstardom. Chicken and we have to protect it because everybody's coming in trying to get it. Superstars love this situation. It's built up to be Jordan versus Drexler. Michael Jordan said, okay, come on, you're in my building. Dunked it. That's crazy. Commenting about the comparison with the wrestlers, someone said, How about three point shooting? Jordan made the point, Well, I have not chosen to shoot three point shots. As if to say, What if I wanted to go that route? Well, he has chosen to look Shit. for the three here in the first quarter. It's unusual to see Michael bombing away. That's his third three-point attempt. Jordan made only 27 the entire regular season. Jordan for three. Well, Michael has gone to a new weapon. That's his fourth three-point field goal. In the, the aura of being Michael Jordan. That is an NBA Finals record. Five three-pointers in a half. Five. Drexler for three. Air ball. Somebody hit the number. That's crazy. That boy don't turn into that curry. The scariest boy. competitor I've ever watched in any sport. Did you see that one? Michael indicating he can't believe it. The Chicago Bulls have won the NBA championship. He really just smacked six threes. And they said he only made 27 on the year. Nah, he was feeling some type of way. Somebody said something at the beginning of the game. They was hating on him or something, bro. Because ain't no way he only made 27 threes on a year and he smacked six of them in the final. That is insane. If I heard that right. Considering the relative youth of their nucleus, they could be in position to extend towards a dynasty. He is not of this world. And there was an otherworldly aspect to Michael Jordan that, that he did things that nobody else could do. Hey, the 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 U.S. was so dominant in basketball that its collegiate players were all that was needed to win the gold. And here's the frosting for the USSR. They win it. 82 76. Those other countries were using pros. Playing against 18, 19 year old kids. That is 
really unfair. After the loss, after loss, for U.S. basketball at these tournaments, and what was once a golden tradition has paled into something less Just brilliant. moments ago, the Dream Team boarded the bus outside their hotel along the Robles. I kept thinking that the attention would dissipate. They're going to play the first game. They're going to win by 60. There's nothing like that ever. And even in that, with all these guys being tremendous competitors, I have to say Michael is probably the most competitive in that whole group. A 6'6 six, six guard, Michael Jordan. The guy on the bench is taking pitches. That's be crazy. The best basketball team ever assembled. Curtinitis, but Mullin reads him so well, and watch out. So suddenly the lead stretches to 15. Oh! Prior to the U.S. beating these teams by 60 points, they pose at mid-court. It's a watershed moment in the history of sports. Not just, not just the Olympics, not just basketball. before and never again will there be such a team yes look at look at these numbers uh 31 straight points at one straight 64 to 60 <laughs> by the united angola if y'all need me to come there you know what i'm saying and play for y'all let me know tap me in i got my i got my phone hot and ready if you need if you need me tap me in i'll come play in angola tap me in uh all i need is about 200k 20k a year and i'll come play for y'all real talk States. And gave birth to international stars who had nothing to do with those games in 92. But who took so much from it. I had to scatter. Oh. That catch is like one of the craziest shit I ever seen. I don't know what catch is better, bro. OBJ, you know what I'm saying? The the the, the touchdown catch or that one. <laughs> That's my comparison, and that it's a great comparison. Oh, he's just being told by uh, by Bruce Alexander. You have a delay a game now. If you step over, I'm gonna have to call it. Rodman will defend on the inbounds. Pippen will toss in. B.J. Armstrong is on the floor for the Jordan. goal. The inbounds a card right to Jordan. A winner! Unbelievable! What we're talking about here is arguably the greatest player who ever lived, really indisputable to most of us. They ran last night to even up their playoff. They ran straight to the locker room. That's tough. Series one game apiece, and somehow the Knicks managed to contain Michael Jordan. Stop reaching, young boy. Hey, what the We just fell apart. Well, we like, like that. We, we like that energy. We don't have a choice. When, when you mention the teams Jordan went through, those Knicks especially, I mean, Mason, Oakley, you. Got it, come at Jordan's hey. going to the hole against them. Oh, what a move by Jordan! It counts! There's some football being played. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In the 90s, it was cold. You get chucked with a ball. All that, arm. All that running through the paint. Oh, 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 and a foul! Oh, did he show the rookie something, Jimmy? He duplicated what he did on the offensive end on the defensive end. And then you couple that with all of that athleticism, then his confidence skyrocket by Rivers, and now Jordan with some words for Rivers. He talks a lot of trash, and he, and he had all <laughs> Doc Rivers thing together. Bro, did I just see Doc Rivers? <laughs> My nigga Doc Rivers. Now first, and I will abandon. 
Yeah, that's that never give up. I like that. You turn the ball over, you get back on defense. I like that. I like that. almost sadly competitive like really like almost you could say he had a problem he was so competitive his entire life just revolved around beating other people that's how he measured himself that's how he measured everyone he played with hey charles barkley thought he was gonna get him a ring stupid ass you mad, man? <laughs> yes! There is a seven second disparity between the shot clock and the game. Yeah. Yes! That went in. Let's see that again. Clock in the game. He made that? Yes. Yeah, that's crazy. I know. That's crazy. It would have been better for Charles to foul him all the way than halfway foul. Michael Jordan, the Chicago Bulls have flanked the monolithic of the NBA. Charles has been balled since he was seven. NBA championship. I think we've gone through a lot. Me, personally, I've gone through a lot of ups and downs, but it, it, to cap it off this way means a lot to me. Believe me. I hear that you ahead, but you've talked about retirement in a year or two. Could you step aside if the streak is still intact? 41 points a game in the finals. I'm looking at it, and I'm going to be here as long as my love is strong. Last night, we began the show with the disappearance 41? of Jordan's father. Right? The worst. 41 points per game? My nigga, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Fears have come true. James Jordan was found dead, victim of apparent murder. That's what crazy. is still unclear and will be for some time is what effect this tragedy will have on Michael Jordan and his future with the Chicago Bulls. In a matter of moments, Michael Jordan is expected to officially announce his retirement. A, uh, a very bittersweet day. A certain sadness because the greatest athlete to ever play a team sport is leaving the game. I can only imagine what it was like seeing Babe Ruth because I think this man, I used to say, was the Babe Ruth of basketball. I've now come to believe that Babe Ruth was the Michael Jordan of baseball. When Michael Jordan first retired from the Chicago Bulls in October of 1993, following his father's murder, the sports world was shocked. That nigga later, said, that nigga just said Babe Ruth is the Michael Jordan of baseball. That's fried. Jordan dropped another bombshell. He decided to pursue a career in baseball. And then he goes to play baseball? Everyone's like, wait, wait he's gonna play baseball? So many Hall of Fame was like, this is my chance to get a chip. Jordan be out of retirement when yeah. they're going to eight straight NBA Finals? One could argue that. Yeah, yeah, of yeah, of course, we all believe that. 35 seconds away from the Knicks defrosting the Chicago Bulls to the 1994 NBA World Champion. The NBA tried to plan for his retirement, tried to promote other players like the Lakers' Shaquille O'Neal. But the shoe company Reebok recently canceled Shaq's shoe contract. What is the NBA without my Bro, like, why would Shaq sign with Reebok, bro? Like, Reebok? Reebok? Well, at least do Adidas or something, bro. Reebok? I think the NBA without Michael Jordan is in deep trouble. Just being given an opportunity is something that I can feel very privileged about. I mean, uh, the White Sox gave me an opportunity just to go out there and see what type of skills I have. And, uh... would, you like, would you like to see him come back? Yes, I would. I, I think that he would be a good addition to this game. <laughs> Michael Jordan announced today he's coming back to basketball. Jordan returns to the NBA on NBC at noon Eastern. Yes, that was 636 days ago, so 21 months after 
Going to baseball was crazy, but I feel it. I feel it. Bro, when you when you're like that, bro, you could just do you could just do random side quests, bro. Fuck it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're a real deal like that, you might as well just you know, like 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 if I'm the if I'm the if I'm the Never mind, I'm gonna just skip what I was about to say, but yeah, if you if you're really like that, bro, you can do random side quests, bro. I approve. Five months after his number twenty three was raised to the He's forty five look a little Michael, cricket though, I ain't gonna lie. Jordan has returned and he's wearing number forty five. A lot of special moments in NBA basketball. Usually the opening game of the season, the playoffs. Reggie the Miller the series, the won the head but I got the goosebumps for this one. This is very special. The moment is nearly at hand. Michael Jordan's return to the NBA. Whereas Jordan is the undisputed GOAT. Like there's, I mean, it, really no debate. Make a wish. Count to three. You know, he's the greatest that's ever played. Greatest who ever played. Yeah. You 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 go right there. No, no question about it. Fourth game back. Jordan for the win. That's crazy. That's crazy. He is now back. And he shot a fishing. 14 for 26. That's crazy. He's just a super, super star. He, like you said, Bill, he was a celebrity. He wasn't a basketball player. He was a celebrity. He said he was a celebrity. And I'll tell you, as a kid growing up, you know, in high school, I can't even describe what that was like at the time. We, we, we put it on prime time, but Michael brought it to a whole nother level and took it internationally. It's the magical, mystical Jordan Road Tour. 1995. The Bulls are two and two since his return, and one of the most asked questions in America, most often asked, is how is Michael doing? How is his return? Is <laughs> Albert Starks told me moments ago the Knicks still plan to have him go one on one, no double teaming. He wasn't intimidated before, and he's not now, and he says he's eager for the challenge. <laughs> Moments away from tip-off, there is John Starks. He's been a little bit of a slump lately offensively, but he does play Michael Jordan very well. Early in the game is that Spike Lee? Ezekiel. Bro, how old is Spike Lee, bro? Am I tripping this Spike Lee, right? Hey, man, if y'all still watching, hit that like and sub button. I appreciate y'all, you know what I'm saying? We got 12 more minutes. Watch it all the way through with me. Hit that like and sub. I need y'all to run me up. I need 10K subs by tomorrow. Let's play Michael Jordan. Very well. Viewing early in the game, Kukoc on the run. Ezekiel 25-17. The path of the righteous man is beset. Look out. Starts out on fire. Michael is born. In the Jordan 10s. Oh, he is truly his brother's keeper. And the finder of lost. What else? It's 20. First quarter points for Michael Jordan. Look, I know what it must seem like to a younger generation. Guys, it's ridiculous. No matter what LeBron does, if he's not perfect, then he's not Jordan. Yeah, Jordan set a standard of near perfection. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger. And the U.S. is he back? Those who attempt to poison and destroy my brother. 55 points. There were times where you could make a legitimate argument that collectively a team may have been better than the Chicago Bulls, but they didn't have MJ. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my finger upon you. Twist it, nigga. He just twist that nigga ankle so bad. Owie. <laughs> Owie. Owie! That nigga just twist his ex to the ice. Owie. To take the game 20 years into the future where he has no fucking peer. There was no arguments about who the best guy in the league was. The Chicago Bulls were an unstoppable force during the 1995-96 campaign. Manute Bo, you're 7 foot 96. How did you not block that, bro? You can touch the Staples Center sign 
Oh, all right, bro. sports team I have ever seen in any league at any time. And Michael Jordan's first full season back after giving baseball a try. The Bulls won an NBA record 72 games in the regular season. Bro, I'm so damn With hungry right now, bro. The, the playoffs. Hey, bro, I can just imagine like a Chick Fil A deluxe meal. Chick Fil A deluxe meal. Some Chick-fil-A sauce, get some waffle fries. <whistles> large, large, high C, light ice. <whistles> little, little brownie on the side. <whistles> Bum, nigga need to get some food. The put back off the free throw is crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. That's insane. Welcome to Flight. I know I keep saying that, but this, bro, I done said insane, probably the most I ever said insane in my whole life. The insane is not even in my vocabulary. I just added that as soon as I see. Look at look where I paused this though. This is crazy. That's insane, that bro. I just added that to my vocabulary as soon as I start watching this, bro. was a wrap for everyone in the league. Didn't matter who you were, you weren't getting anything when Jordan was around. Jordan just looked over at Spike Lee and waved bye-bye. <laughs> appropriately enough in front of New York's most celebrated fan, Spike Lee. And through most of the country, really, is that these NBA Finals loom not so much as a competition, as a coronation. You know, with 72 wins, you know, all the consecutive winnings, uh, the games that we have won, but by no means do we want to do all that and then be the team that lose to the Seattle Supersonics in the finals. And Mark, he has come all the way back to best player and MVP status. And then he played a 63 win Sonics team and beat them in six games. No one ever took them seven games in the finals. The Jeez. Bulls were able to complete the dream season and win the franchise's fourth NBA title after defeating the Sonics in Game 6. Michael Jordan, yep, once again named Finals MVP, his tough, fourth tough, MVP tough. trophy in his many tries. Watch this, I'm going to fly through the air. How about that? So he just puts it in one hand and takes it down the lane. Career high, 67 points, and you folks were here to see he was the first guy that would literally fly through the f***ing air, slamming in dunks. Where you would see it on the highlight reels on like ESPN, you'd see it on the news, and people would just be standing there shaking their head. Literally, bro. Now, maybe it was an innocent question from Michael Jordan. Is it Byron or Brian Russell? But it drew Russell's fire. Brian responding, is it Michael or Michelle? Ooh. Now on the one hand, you gotta give Brian props for not backing down, but on the other, yo, B. That's Mike. We're down to five. George putting moves on Russell. We're down to two. Now to one. I still love me still, baby. That's too easy. That's too easy. Byron. That's too easy, Byron. There is a big story going around this building right now. Michael Jordan is sick. 1,100 fans in attendance. And the 600 million watching around the world. Wait, how many? Good fans in attendance. And the six. Jordan is sick. 1,100 fans in attendance. And the 600 million watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen. What a house? 100 1,100. Building right now. Michael Jordan is sick. 19,000 fans in attendance. 19,000? And the 600 million watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Is this the WWE? Yes! I'm for guy playing with the flu the Jazz not able to get to their offensive glass. Ostertag was great. Carl Malone's got the 3,000. I mean, it, it was uh, the man could hardly walk. He could hardly breathe. And he elevated himself. Jordan for the cutting long way. If you give bro, like I said before, bro, when I'm like 50 and I start going bald and stuff, bro, 
I need that Michael Jordan exquisite chicken grease rub that he put on his bald head, bro. Because his head be shining, bro. That's how I'm trying to have my head shining, bro. You feel me? Then they give up. You know, so I didn't want to give up. You know, no matter how sick I was, or how tired I was, or how, you know, low on energy I was. I know they got like some game, you know what I'm saying? Some game seven Michael Jordan sweat in a, in a grease container mix of like olive oil. If he just... He's got his team tied now. When they called a timeout, how he came out of the ball game and plopped on the seat. And that's what he did. He just plopped down. He won't down. even take the Gatorade. He doesn't want to waste any energy. No high fives, no lifting water to his mouth. He is exhausted. A heroic performance by Michael Jordan. I mean, as long as he plays the game, he's, he's going to amaze us no matter what. Yes! They lead it! 38 points for the King! Leaning on Scotty as they walked off the floor, I'm not sure he had full mobility. He's a, a, a boxer just hanging on along the road. Performance by the flu-ridden Michael Jordan. Flu game. It's insane. I think will go down as one of the greatest of his career Jeez. because of the situation. It is all over. The Bulls have won the title. And the Phoenix Jazz ninety to eighty six. It is Bedlam here at the United Center. Max, from a physicality standpoint, he was actually an underdog from the position of getting six beat rings up. is tough. Jordan ruled. With a takeoff and the what is he doing? Did he just want to get dunked on? But he just wanted to get dunked on, bro. We get off the bus before the game. Jordan parks inside his Ferrari. We're getting off the bus. He's smoking a cigar before the game. Before the game, <laughs> and he's like, "Who's gonna check me?" Jordan got a wife? In his heart, Michael already knew that these would be his last games. Okay, this footage really look kind of clean. And, and, and he just got better and better. I mean, he was, uh, I've never seen a guy that I thought was as good as anybody I'd ever seen. Five years later, he was ten times better. And five years later, he was ten times better. Game yeah. six in Utah. For the Bulls, a win would mean a championship. For Michael, it would mean the cementing of his legacy. Inside, they've already begun the chant of beat the Bulls. Jordan for three. Got it. What you do has to transcend the generations in order to retain your place as the GOAT. Here's Michael. He's got 21. Michael Jordan always took his game to another level in the playoffs. Jordan pulls up like we've never seen before. And connects. 25 for MJ. Six titles, six finals MVPs. That means it was all about you each series. You were the mismatch. He's still Michael Jordan. Whatever he has lost through fatigue, through age, through whatever, has only brought him somewhat back to the field. He still leads the field. He became the most dangerous man alive. Yeah. I would air water. What? I'd be so distracted. All them noodles in the background. Court Stockton. A three. It's there. I'd have had to respectfully ask everybody, hey, can y'all chill out real quick? Like, let me shoot. And then y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like, let me shoot real quick, man. Those two three peaks that Jordan has, those are hard. Those are hard to compare yeah, anything yeah. to. None of us ever saw what he was going to do, and we thought he was going to be great. 
Pippen into Jordan. Michael working on Russell. Brings them to within one. Michael Jordan with 45 points. Six NBA Finals MVPs without ever allowing a game seven. Here comes Chicago. It's great 17 defense. seconds. Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player I've ever seen. Better than LeBron, better than Kobe, better than everybody. Jordan. Open. The amount of times I've seen that is crazy. Most legendary team. The Chicago Bulls have won their sixth NBA championship, and it's their second three P. That's crazy. He's out of doubt. That's like a greatest back. King speech, don't it? This is like a Martin Luther King speech down here. <laughs> he was, without a doubt, the greatest basketball player of all time, and he still is. And nobody breathes at home like a chill. Vincent. Nobody. Hey man, that's gonna do it, man. Like, comment, and subscribe. If y'all watched the whole video, man, I appreciate y'all. Woo, that was a long one, you baby. Hey, I hope y'all enjoy it. Real talk. We need 10k subs tonight. So hit that sub button. Let me know what else y'all want to see. Leave me a comment. Let me know how I did. Let me know how y'all like the video. Answer some of the questions I asked. Tell me about your day. I'll reply. Let me know if you had a good day. I hope you have a good day. I hope y'all stay blessed. God bless you. Keep Jesus in your heart. Peace out. Tell your mom you love him. Tell, tell, tell your girlfriend you love him. Tell, tell your, your, your boyfriend you love him. Tell, tell your grandparents you love him. And subscribe. Real talk. Like, if y'all don't subscribe, like, it's going to hurt me. But yeah. Hey. I'm about to go get some Chick-fil-A. I ain't gonna cap.